Hello, in this video we will see what is DNA ligation. Joining DNA molecules is called ligation. There are three ways of joining DNA molecules. One is annealing the cohesive ends produced by restriction in endonuclease. The second method is blunt end ligation using T4 DNA ligase. And the third method is synthesis of homopolymer tails using terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase. The foreign DNA and the plasmid DNA are cut with a restriction enzyme that produces staggered N, mix both and the nick is sealed by DNA ligase. Recombinant formation is favored at high DNA concentration. In dilute solution, circularization of the linear fragment occurs. Plasmid vectors can be treated with alkaline phosphatase in order to prevent recircularization and dimer formation. There are three methods for blunt end ligation. The first one is using linkers. Linkers are synthesized self-complementary decameric oligonucleotide which has sites for one or more restriction endonuclease. In the figure you can see a MAM-H1 linker. The disadvantage of using linker is self-circularization of vector and insert. In order to overcome this, you can use poly linkers or double linkers. That is, two different linkers can be used. In the figure, BAM-H1 linker is joined to both the ends of the foreign DNA using T4 DNA ligase. The plasmid DNA is also cut with the same restriction enzyme. Mix both to get the recombinant plasmid. There is the chance that the restriction enzyme used to cut the linker cuts the foreign DNA at internal sites. In order to avoid this, choose another restriction enzyme or methylate the internal restriction sites with DNA methylases. The second method of blunt end ligation is using adapters. Adapters are chemically synthesized double stranded DNA molecule with one end blunt and the other end cohesive. They do not have a site for restriction endonuclease. An adapter with GATC overhang is shown in the figure. In the figure, adapters with GATC overhangs are joined to both ends of the foreign DNA using T4 DNA ligase. The plasmid DNA is cut with the BAM-H1 restriction enzyme. Both these are mixed to get the recombinant plasmid. The third method of blunt end ligation is homopolymer tailing. Add oligo DNA sequence to 3 prime ends of one population of DNA, say the foreign DNA, and oligo DT sequence to 3 prime ends of another population of DNA, vector DNA, mixed to get the recombinant DNA. The enzyme used is terminal transferase. It can add bases of 10 to 40 nucleotides. The enzyme prefers a lambda exonuclease cleave DNA or restriction enzyme PST1 cleave DNA. In the figure, foreign DNA and the plasmid DNA are cleaved with lambda exonuclease or PST1 to produce a 3' overhang. Terminal transferase adds DATPs to the foreign DNA and DTTPs to the plasmid DNA, mix and anneal both to get the recombinant plasmid. There are three methods of joining PCR products. First method is TA cloning. Tag polymerase used in PCR has a terminal transferase activity. That is, it adds a single 3' A overhang to each end of the PCR product. This can be ligated to a vector DNA molecule having a single 3' deoxythymidylate extension. The second method of joining PCR products is by incorporation of an extra sequence that is the restriction sites at the 5' end of the primer to get an amplified DNA with restriction sites at both ends. The third method of joining PCR products is using Vaccinia DNA topoisomerase. The enzyme can cleave and rejoin the DNA in 5 minutes. The linear DNA should have CCCTT cleavage sites at both ends. Vaccinia DNA topoisomerase recognizes the site CCCTT, cleaves within the site and joins the PCR product containing A overhang to give the recombinant DNA.